guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, I want to get some showcases out of characters in... I mean, I'm pretty convinced that this is the new toughest fight, this Fusion Zamasu fight. It's just, his AoE at the start of the fight is just so oppressive. I feel like it's just the correct word. It's like, it is around the same level of hit as in Omega's AoEs. But in Omega's AoEs, typically, is you know, turn 6, turn 7, turn 8... Right, at maybe turn five at the minimum. So it's like you just have waves and waves and waves of characters um, who can't build up. Like all the best characters in the game, they're building up in some fashion, and you just have to deal with this nonsense right away. Now, I mean, you guys know me uh, and my strategies, uh, dodge. <laughs> Um, but I am ready for this type of thing. Um, we, yeah, we'll, we'll just go, we'll watch the intros for these guys. This is not a good, um, okay. So Yamcha, I feel like should be pretty effective in this fight. I don't know if I like our rotations, but let's see how we do. Um, so again, my strategies, you know, dodge, uh, are going to work pretty effective for this because this, okay, so this is what happens. I don't know what the chances are that this dude just opens with the AOE, but it's, it's high. Like this is a very common thing where he, that AOE is just like right away. Um, I think Bulma is our best bet here. Future Gohan, of course, is very tanky, but, you know, I think this, this is the, the move. Uh, I wish, damn it, I, sometimes with characters like Bulma, it, it's like, I, I kind of want to go up right there, but we'll, we'll take this. Okay, let's hit this. Um, we'll get Carnival Goku that, um, and Future Gohan get enough key. I brought Tech Carnival Goku. Um, kind of as our revive character. I think revive characters are just, like, crucial. Um, we'll see how this is gonna go. Alright, that, that's a good dodge by Carnival Goku right there. Because it means he'll be able to get a, a, a stack in before he's gonna get hit. Um, super right here? Okay, hmm. Alright, let's see how we do. Now, Carnival Goku, remember, the first hit does a lot of damage to him. But he can hang in there after the first hit. Um, and, you know, if we could potentially... His revive could be pretty good. Okay, so there's that. There's the super attack. Okay, dodge it. No, okay, this is going to do damage. If this does put pressure on us now, though, in this next turn. The Yamchas really have to cook for us. So, again, this is a, a video sort of based around Yamcha. Um, I, Yamcha, I think, should be very effective in here. I mean, more so than other, like, top characters. I... I the next Dokkan Fest TUR list I do, and LR list, like, there's going to be movement. Um, I mean, I'm probably not going to do another LR list until the next LR comes out. I'm not going to, like, oh, update it because of the new events or something like that. We'll just talk about changes once the next LR comes out. Um, but the next Dokkan Fest TUR, like, the list is going to be completely shaken up. I'm going to have to. <laughs> Alrighty, so again, Yamcha has got to really help us out here. He's got to hit his dodges. Um, do we just do this? What are these links right here? In fighters, Z fighters, and fierce battle. Attack, attack, attack. All links are just attack. Um, I mean, we probably should. It's just attack. He kind of spread his attacks out. Damn it, I'd like more attacks aimed at EJL Carnival Goku, obviously. Um, <laughs> let's use all of the active skills here, and I guess we'll, we'll put EGL Carnival Goku in slot one. I feel like the most likely spot we would get super attacked would be in slot one. Um, so EGL Carnival Goku, remember, has a counter here. Car Carnival Goku, I think, is a good video, um, to, to do in here as well. Like a video based around him, but here, let's pop some of these. <laughs> Oh, 
So, um, how do we want to operate right here? Let's also use Yamcha's. Remember that the beginning of this fight is where things are kind of like the scariest. So, I do think that utilizing Yamcha's ability... Like, the active skill gives us essentially a 10% chance to dodge, right? I think using that right here is smartest. Um, again, all we're going to get is damage from Link, so no reason to really prioritize that. Keep in mind that we do have Bulma's support up right here. Now, I think Yamcha can be pretty effective in here. Like, in these... Uh, uh, the friend... Well, yeah, let's just hit that. Uh, Yamcha could be pretty effective in here, but it is just he needs to dodge, right? Like, Yamcha is going to be a true dodge-or-die character in here. I think after doing numerous attacks, he could be looking a little bit better. Nice. We got the counter. Nice. That's why I put uh, Goku right there. Because uh, Yamcha obviously cannot withstand uh, the super attack. But Goku, you know, I've got a dodge build on Goku, plus we've got the, the counter as well. So I felt like that was the correct play right there. Um, I wish that Zamasu aimed more attacks in one spot. That really would have been very, very good for us. But let's let, let's see how things are going to go. So, yep, we do need these dodges. Beautiful. The other thing... Okay, the Yamchas could probably kill Zamasu right here. The other thing about the Yamchas, right? Um, Yamcha does play very well against AoE bosses. Because Yamcha doesn't need to be in... Because remember, Yamcha, if he dodges, he gets an additional. Like, he gets a, another additional. Um, so, uh, against an AoE boss like this... Both our slot 2 and our slot 3 Yamchas are getting access to that additional without having to go slot 1 to get it, right? Okay, nice. My Yamcha put on a show right there. Um, I don't want him to kill Zamasu, though. This is probably double-digit damage at this point. from the Like, even if we get hit... Because remember, Yamcha, you know, once he builds up those attacks, his stats start to, start to look pretty good. All right, th this one, his attack stat is much lower. He doesn't have those big links up, giving him a bunch of attack. But un unless we shoot out, you know, four normal attacks right here, he should still be able to finish. Remember, Yamcha does have built-in crit. I mean, one thing that's very good about Yamcha here, Yamcha has built-in crit, built-in additional, built-in dodge. He has everything. Just base, Yamcha does, right? So that's going to work very well for a fight like this. Okay, now our HP, we are below the threshold. This is why I brought Tech Carnival Goku as well. Because now we have access to this. Um, his revive. Exactly. <clears throat> um Oh, we were just above EGL Carnival Goku's uh heal. W what is What is our best bet right here? This, but I don't I actually don't want to get the tech orbs, but I'm going to have to. Let's put Bulma right there. Wow, that's actually really beneficial for us. Um and let's hit this. So, we're only going to die, probably, if Majunior gets super attacked anyway. So, this this should be fine. Damn, we're turn three against this guy. He supers right here. Dodge it? No, he we eat it. Um. All right. I mean, this will be bad if we're dropped down to a small sliver. No, he cooked us. Okay, Goku. Alright, um, let's go ahead and see now. So, Carnival Goku gave us the revive, which puts us in a pretty good position. Now, remember, Zamasu cannot super attack here. Zamasu's cooldown, he killed us with the super. His cooldown is the exact amount of attacks that he does. So, what is our smartest play? Future Gohan probably eats this better than Carnival Goku. So, we do that. 
something like this. Um, I know Yamcha's the showcase character here, but like I like this is what we'd want to do right here, right? Like we don't need Yamcha. Yamcha performed his job incredibly. What we got from the Yamcha is what we would have needed, which was on that first turn, the Yamcha's hit the necessary dodges, which was the AoE. Right? A character like Yamcha is gonna be so effective in this fight. You know, he'll he'll get some you'll do runs, he'll get hit and he'll die. That doesn't mean, oh my god, dodge is terrible because I died here. It's, no, you have to look at it the other way. At least Yamcha has dodge and has a chance, whereas 99.8% of the rest of the game just dies to the AoE normals and have no counter, right? At least with dodge, you've got a shot, right? I, I, I do think that a, a huge, uh, like, misinterpretation of how people look at dodge and its effectiveness, uh, and it's an issue, is people, oh, I got hit, it sucks. Not the fact that you in your head should put in other characters in the same situation and you just lose right whereas at least with a dodge character you have a chance in yamcha's case it's you know 50 percent <laughs> okay so yamcha <clears throat> um he has his 50 percent chance to dodge we have dodge from his active skill right he did the active skill and he gets the 10 percent right from from the super attack dodge and then anything from your hidden potential system what is the friend at what are you looking at five dodge right there okay <clears throat> I'm thinking this is what we do. A again, I like, you know, Yamcha's dodge is, is, is strong. L let's hit this. Let's see what Yamcha's looking like in terms of defense. Like, his defense, I mean, I, I know you'd look at it and go, it's not, it's pretty good. But remember, nowadays, I mean, this is just shit. Um, Zamasu does increase damage after he supers. But, like, you know, Yamcha's eaten 400k from a normal. So, um, if we don't have to put him in front of harm's way, I, I see no reason to do it if we don't have to, right? Um, I, I, again, the, the, the point of these showcases often is I want to show the character's performance. But, again, what we needed from Yamcha, we already got. Which was what both Yamchas did against Int Zamasu. <laughs> All right, um, there's a chance that that attack break right there, that might have actually cleaned out um, Zamasu's super attack. There's a chance that was his super. What's our next rotation? Um, Int STR and AGL. So I'd like to kind of like get those types of orbs ready to heal. All right, let's see what we get right here. Hopefully, that was a super attack. Um, Bulma gives us any dodges. That, of course, is helpful. Um, again, Bulma is really, really good, of course, but even she's taking damage. I mean, remember, Bulma is a character with guard and damage reduction, and she takes damage still. Right, so these bosses do not play around. Um, Bulma is still... I mean, her effect is just... It's just so very important, right? Her giving that support, just a wave of support to the entire team is just really so big. All right, now we should keep in mind, we have EGL Carnival Goku, the defense portion of his passive is now activated, which means he's now significantly stronger defensively, right? That's the other thing. He's one of those characters. Yeah, yeah, I'm just cooking, dude. Look at this. Look at this. This is what we like to see right here. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Uh, I think in most situations these days, uh, like, I, I, I just feel like crits are not going to have the impact that people think they do. Um, at, at a lot of points, right? And, and what I'm talking about specifically is, like, hidden potential system crits, right? They're not going to have the impact that people, like, wish they would in these fights, which are ending at around the same points anyway. But, um, obviously, crits with, like, Yamcha... Oh! That's... That might just barely kill us. It does, wow. He just... Zamasu hits that hard. He just cooks Goku through it. Holy shit, man. That's that right there is just power creep, right? Like that's the difference between a character last year and a character this year, right here. Man, that's a, that was a lot. That's five hundred k with the guard. So I, we we would have needed Yamcha right there. Um, let let's let's do a second run. I mean, I feel like that was a good run to show what I wanted to show for Yamcha. But I think we could hop back in. We, we could just get a little bit more footage. Um, I think it's fair. I mean, that was, again, what I wanted to see we got in turn one, but we could go ahead and hop into another one. Oh, damn. Do we have the intros on? Um, 
We do. Uh, well, okay, that's fine. What, uh, yeah, I'm just a showcase character. That's fine. Alright, so again, um huge, huge, huge thing we're gonna need here. Yeah, he just it's so common for Zamasu to do this. Is he just tosses that shit out right away. Five. I really would like Bulma to get more orbs than that. Do we we just do this? Yeah, we'll, we'll just do this. I'll get Bulma's support first. That'll get the damage buff for Yamcha before we fire out his active skill. Okay. Sure. Uh, mainly I use that. I mean, the, the a little bit of extra damage sure is nice, but mainly I'm using that as a tool to get a, a little bit of an extra dodge chance. Again, Yamcha pretty much has to hit on all of his dodges before he attacks and builds up his passive up. Yes, yeah, dude, look how much damage that is. Like, it's just too much already. Like, we, we pretty much can't even eat a super attack from this point, right? Um, we're gonna need to... Yeah, we only got five orbs right here. We probably need to dodge this. We didn't. Like, this is not, like, a weak rotation. Look at our HP. Like, it's, it's very difficult to... This boss... It's very difficult to get around him just taking all of your health, right? He, he just evaporates your health in a second. This is Amasu. It's just, it is different from many other bosses. Um, you know, like, you go and, like, fight, like, Red Zone Zamasu, you can do a lot of damage. You fight, like, Red Zone Goku Black, you can do a lot of damage. But, like, this guy, this Zamasu, actually just evaporates all of your health. Now, Yamcha didn't dodge the AoE, which was, you know, the one that would have given him an extra additional as well. That was a little bit unfortunate. All right, let's see what happens here. Um, all right, our HP is really, really low. This is not good. <sighs> Damn, I don't even know why. This is the friend Yamcha, too. It doesn't have quite as much dodge, which, I mean, is gonna... It, it, it does matter. Now, we're, we're dead. This is a run. We're, we're dead. There's not much we can do about it. Because my Piccolo is not built dodge. Yeah, this is this is the strength of Fusion Zamasu right here. Do I leave Carnival Goku in this first slot? Yeah, let's do it. Yamcha has more defense, which means we'll give him more of the in orbs right there. This is very important. And then Piccolo Jr. will get in orbs as well. Maybe we could live. Barely. We need good luck here. This is going to hurt Piccolo Jr. too. How much... Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess we had good luck before Piccolo Jr. in slot 7. Um, do I want to do another run? Or do I feel content with what Yamcha gave us? I feel like this was good. Right? Like, we saw Yamcha looking good. Um, even before he attacked, he took about 280 from Zamasu's AoE. So, yeah, you know, remember, Yamcha has this intro up. Um, what is it? It's for the first two turns, right? Yamcha's intro is up. So, when that intro is up, he's really going to be able to hang in there very, very well against Zam in Zamasu's attacks after he supers. But going in front of physical Zamasu, I mean, that's going to be a different story. Physical Zamasu is going to be hitting so hard. But, again, Yamcha is still a dodge character. Yamcha is going to perform better in this fight than many of people's favorite TURs. Strong TUR characters will get obliterated and just absolutely wiped out, you know, by this this Fusion Zamasu stage. Um, it's like Yamcha's toolkit of the active skill, the dodge, the additionals, the crits, all the abilities that he has. That's the type of stuff that will age better than just raw stats. Um, and Yamcha, he also has an ability, his 50% start of turn dodge, that could get around Zamasu's AoE, which many characters do not. So let me know what you guys think of Yamcha, but I think Yamcha is a great, great option against this Red Zone Fusion Zamasu fight.